So today I'm going to show you how to build a, a simple paddleboard storage system that costs less than ten dollars. Everything you need you see right here. I've got um, just a little carabiner. I've got four um, eye bolts or eye screws. They're eye screws so they're made to screw right into wood. And then I've got an eye bolt. And um, I'm going to use this eye bolt you're going to see because I've got a 2 before where I have access to the back side. A lot of folks won't have that in their garage or their storage space. So in that case you would need five of the, um, the eye lag screws and then some 550 cord. So each one of these items costs about a dollar and then the 550 cord it's uh, anywhere from 8 to 10 cents a foot depending on how much you buy at any one time. So we're going to use about 15 feet of that so a little over a buck. So the whole system is going to cost you less than ten dollars. I'm going to start off by showing you how it, how it works. The, I've already done one before for this, this particular paddle board. I've got a second one and I'm going to build the system for that one today. So I'm going to show you how uh, this goes in. You just lay it on top of your head and once you get it into position, I've got my uh, daughter Ryan Grace helping me today. We're going to turn around and if you look up here there's a little cradle that I've created with two eye bolts and a piece of uh, rope. And I'm going to put the board in that cradle. Then I'm going to work my way back to the back of the board, making sure it doesn't slide out of that cradle. Grab the fin, Got these ropes here. I'll place one on either side of the fin. Grab it here. Hoist it up. Slide a little forward. And then, lastly. I've got an eye bolt or a carabiner. I just clip it off. So now we're going to put in our first two screws, and you're going to just stick it in the hole that you've drilled and start that. You're probably wondering why I'm holding a screwdriver. I'm about to show you. Well, at some point, it's going to get really hard to turn, and you can't put a wrench on that. But you can just take a screwdriver and you can insert it into the hole and that will give you the leverage that you need to go ahead and tighten that screw up. So now I've just about got it to where all the threads are up into the ceiling and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn it so that when you finish that the, uh, the eye is going to run parallel to the length of the board. The board's going to be running across the ceiling just like that. So that's our first screw. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the others. Okay, so now I have all four of my eye screws in. See, see those? Now you're probably wondering how far apart do I put those? Of course, they're spaced based on the ceiling joist. That's they're 32 inches apart. The, each set of screws are 32 inches apart. But then, lengthwise, how far? And what um, what I've used for my other board is about two to two and a half feet shorter than the board. So my other board is uh, 11 foot six. And the, um, the eye bolts are spaced nine feet apart. This board I'm about to hang is a 12 foot board and I've got these probably about um, nine and a half feet apart. I did just a little bit farther on each end. Okay, so this is the anchor point for um, my pulley system. I put it right here in some shelves that I have built in my garage just ran through. But if you, if you don't have something like that, then what you could do is just once again go and find a, um, a stud in the wall and you could just use another one of those eye bolts and you could put it right into the wall. Right, nice and tight and then you want to make sure that that thing is vertically oriented. It works best when you've got it like that. Okay so I'm, I'm doing the cradle. The cradle is where the nose of the, uh, of the board goes and we're going to go ahead and tie this on. We're going to tie one end fixed, and then the other end is going to, we're going to tie a temporary knot because we're going to need to adjust it later. Um, once again, I'm not using 550 cord for the front, and that's because 550 cord, it's strong enough to hold the weight of the front of the board, but it's got a little bit too much stretch, and I'm working in a tight space here between my garage door and the ceiling, and I can't afford to have any stretch, so I've just got some cheap polyester rope you can get at any big box store. And on one end, I'm going to tie my permanent knot, and I'm going to tie a, um, a bowline knot because that's a nice, uh, good knot that holds well. It doesn't weaken the rope. It doesn't tighten up on the load. But you can just tie pretty much any knot, a granny knot, just a, a knot that you know is going to hold forever. 
And then you're going to come over to the other side. And this is where we're going to tie our uh, temporary knot. So I'm going to get it to where I want to get enough that I know my board will fit in there between the, the rope and the ceiling. And I'm just going to tie a half hitch, which is just really kind of an overhand knot. And then I'm going to come back through and just tie a little bow through there. And that will allow me to load up my rope, but I can still pull this and um, adjust it later on when I get the board up. So we got that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start the pulley system. And so this is the anchor point. And what you have to do is you've got to feed the, uh, the cord through the, the anchor system from the, um, from the back to the, to the front, basically. So we're, we're going to end up in this anchor. So we're going to come through the anchor. Then we'll come up and we'll go through the eyeball closest to the anchor. And then we'll come back around through the far one and then come back. And I'm going to secure it to this spot right here. Once again, I'm going to tie a um, nice little bowline. And this is going to be the start of our pulley system. Okay, so then once I had this set up, I'm going to pull this down to about, you know, a comfortable height where I can lay the back of the, uh, the board in here. And it's about, I don't know, eye level when it's apart like that. And then once again, I came over and then I just trimmed this off. And so now I'm actually going to attach the, um, the permanent anchor and then you want to anchor it to, um, to the carabiner, not the, uh, the eye bolt itself. That way, if you ever want to take this down, you can. And so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to tie a, um, a really simple knot. You just get a little, what they call a bite or a bow, and then just tie a knot in that. And then that will let me attach it there. And we're getting ready to um, go ahead and put the board up. Okay, so here we go, hanging up for the first time. It's not fully adjusted, but it should be close enough that I can do everything I need. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to look for my cradle. I'm going to get that in the cradle. And I'm going to come back. and find these guys and then what you're going to do you always want to put the nose in the cradle and then you want to put the tail in the pulley system because what you can do is you can put a string on either side of the um, of the rear fin and it helps hold it in the position now I'm going to crank that thing up and then I get an idea about where where I need that to be when it's fully up. And I'm going to tie, and there's a little bit of trial and error in this, I'm just going to tie an overhand knot in that bow like we did before. And you could have somebody hold the string for you and it would be a little bit easier than, than what I'm doing right now. So now I've got my string there. I'm going to take it and hook it in. And so now it's, it's held with this, so whenever I release it, the string never falls to the ground, but I've got that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the front, and it's actually resting on the garage door right now, and I'm going to make a couple adjustments to that. Okay, so um, I went and I adjusted this to where you can see I've got some good space between my garage door and, uh, and the board. And I got that tight, and now really it's just a matter of trimming off the excess. And then, once again, that, just keep that cord from fraying. Throw a little bit of heat on the end of it. Don't burn down your house when you're doing this. And our complete system is done at this point. But this is a way to hang your paddle board. I've got a 12 foot paddle board hanging. And I spent less than $10 for all the hardware to do it.